While so many families are excited for the start of the new school year, for some kids heading back to the classroom can be a scary time. But I spoke with one therapist that has tips on easing your child's anxiety. It's time to head back to school, but this can also be a stressful time for our kids. Psychotherapist Mike Harris says the number one thing she sees kids dealing with is anxiety. I think overall, kids are um, sometimes struggling even, even with identity, like who am I, right, and what does that look like? And Harris says social media isn't helping. I think in some ways the world is getting smaller. There's so much access to information. Social media also makes it easier for kids to experience bullying in schools. I think that um, there are many kids that have great experiences in school, but the reality is that bullying is real. And there are many kids that experience bullying, and so we need to acknowledge that, mm -hmm. and we need to step in and um, pay attention and validate some of the things that children are telling us and students are, are telling us. Union County has a teletherapy program that gives students access to counselors and social workers if they're having issues with anxiety or bullying. So several years ago, we started a an initiative called the Union County Collaborative. That is where we have hired in partnership with Department of Health and Human Services dedicated mental health therapists and social workers across all 53 schools and clusters. So a year ago, we partnered with Atrium Health to provide a, uh, for just for our high schools, a mental health option for them, uh, which is basically uh, mental health therapy in a virtual setting. Uh, that has been very successful across all 11 of our high schools. Uh, we are expanding that to include now a handful of our middle schools going into this year. Since 2019, Union County has also used the Say Something Anonymous reporting system for students to receive information about bullying, self-harm, or threats. Sometimes parents want to ignore or push away what their child is feeling. It's okay, don't worry about it, you'll be okay. And so we want to be able to ask them what they're feeling with open-ended questions. We have to um, step into the discomfort sometimes, ask the questions, bring up the topics. If we're waiting for our 14-year-old to come to us and talk to us about hard topics, it may not happen. So we have to step into that space.